Well, howdy there. It's good to see y'all. <laughs> yeah, I'm really glad to see every single one of y'all. That y'all came in safe. And y'all come in to see old Grandpa Silas. Yep. Now, hey, there's old Skinny over there. Yeah, he he uh, told us the other day that uh, that big mouth, that mouthy boy, uh, the last time uh, when I had to teach that young fella that had to mouth some manners, that fella sitting there watching his P's and Q's. So yeah, see, that boy sit there, he, he sit there and afraid of an elder now. He sit there and say, yes, sir. And um, with uh, the ladies, he said, yes, ma'am. That's right. <laughs> yeah, see, that's what happens when you're messing around with an elder, you know, and showing disrespect. You never know what's going to happen. That boy got a taste of these hands, and he got a taste of my whip, and he also got a taste of Bessie and those jalapeno <laughs> pepper seeds. <laughs> <laughs> that boy, I, I, I still get to laugh and I think about that. I've never seen a boy skip and hop and run like that before. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's like my young missy, she got some pet mice. And when she goes to cleaning their, their, their uh, cage or, or the thing that they're in, anyway, they get all happy and they get to jumping like popcorn or like Fleas on a dog. And well, that was the way that boy was a jumping around. It was hilarious. <laughs> but that boy, he now sit there and learn the hard way. Yeah. And see, and I understood, Missy, that they, that 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 boy that with the mouth was was a friend of Skinny over there. <laughs> Yeah, he, he told us that that boy done learn his lesson. Said that boy was supposed to come by at some time and apologize nice and proper like. Yeah, yeah. See, that's what happens, you know. That's where you got to get on those young'uns now. Don't let them get by with stuff. If you do, they'll run all over you. So you got to teach them some manners. That's right. My pappy used to sit there and do all kinds of stuff to me, you know, when I showed disrespect or wasn't listening to him. He'd tan my hide. I think a lot of problem with these kids today, they don't get their hides tanned. And we're not talking about these old fancy pants tanning booths I've heard about. Yeah, we put the tanning on them hides and on the butts. The old tooch. That's right. Now, let me... Oh, yeah, if you want some, uh... Some of the, uh, hog jowls or... Or the, some of that awesome pasta and gravy with the biscuits over there. You can help yourself. You can help yourself to the coffee, Dad. Oh, yeah, yeah. You just go ahead, help yourself, and I'll, I'll, you know, be telling my story. Now, back when I was in my twenties, uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, it was around in my twenties, uh, I don't know, twenty-two, twenty-six, somewhere around in there. Can't remember right, rightly what year that was. Uh, is she, uh, yeah, that was about, that was about the time when, uh, Lincoln was president, I believe it was. But anyway, yeah, 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 you know, I, yeah, I take real good care of myself. That's why I look so well preserved. <laughs> That's right, because I eat some good vittles. That's my secret. Now, what's going to work for you, I have no idea what's going to work for you. Maybe a miracle, I don't know. You're looking at a miracle <laughs> right here. You know, but anyway. Now, you, you know my dog, Gimpy, that I had long ago. Now, the one I got now here is like Gimpy the 
fourth or fifth or somewhere around here. Maybe it's the twentieth. I can't remember. Anyway, I, I named them all after you know the the sire. You know. And so anyway, uh, but before the sire, before Gimpy Senior, I had old Bobby Boy. Yep, that was the best hunting dog and best little four-legged friend I ever had. And that boy would put the kibosh on your hide if you made the wrong move towards me, looked at me the wrong way, or... Raise your voice, he'd come at you and latch right on to you. That's right, and the only time he'd let go was if I told him to, that's right. Nothing scared that dog. Well, you know, I had a habit, you know, when I uh, went out hunting, I'd usually stay late. First I'd go look and see if I could get some squirrels. And if I didn't see any of them, then... I'd wait around till it got dark, and then I'd go hunting after some possum. Well, needless to say, I didn't, I didn't have any luck with the squirrel, so I was gonna go after some mm, possum. Oh yeah. So anyway, I went out. Well, it was about fifteen, twenty miles away from the cabin. And, you know, it, it, yeah, it got dark and everything, and was tired. And so I found a log that was laying there on the ground and said I'd have a sit and sit a spell and have some chow. So me and Bobby Boy, we were sitting there, and I was a chawing and a jawing. Oh, yeah, t you, you, okay. I gotta break it down for you, all right? In other words, I was chewing my chaw. You know, the tobacco? Yeah. I was chewing my chaw, and I was jawing. I was talking to Bobby Boy. Now, if y'all think it's crazy to be talking to dogs or cats or cows or horses, there's something wrong with you. You're an idiot. That's all there is to it, and I can't. I don't have no toleration for no idiots. That's right. Now, I remember, you know, it was, got, it was real, real late. I didn't have no watch, you know, so I couldn't tell you what time, but if I was to guess, must have been about 11 o'clock at night. But anyway, next thing you know, old Bobby Boy was, uh, his hackles was uh, getting up, you know? And so next thing you know, he, I mean, he was showing his teeth. And he growling and everything. And next thing you know, he would took off and run. And I said, come back here, Bobby. And he, he, didn't, he didn't listen. He was going after something. Because uh, we I heard some howling. All of a sudden, I was like, man, I, must, I didn't know there was any wolves in these parts. Now, <coughs> excuse me. I can recall that, now, at first, I saw this dark figure. That's right. That thing stood about almost 12 foot tall. I thought it was a bear, and it was on all fours. That name was Big. But it got into the light a little bit, and I could see it wasn't no bar. That thing was huge and ugly, you know. And, hey, I mean, that thing uh, it took a swipe and at old Bobby. He dodged it, and he kept going at it. Next thing you know, it hit him and knocked him out. Didn't, ki didn't kill him, but uh, he hurt my dog, and that... Then I, I forgot about, uh, you know, letting any fear in, you know, so I, I was mad. So I said, I'm going to teach this critter a lesson. So, I mean, this thing was huge, and that thing, next thing you know, it, that thing stood up on its hind legs. That's why I know I was about 12 foot. And that thing, uh, its eyes was like almost a fiery red. And big old fangs, you know. I like that. 
mean, it long. I mean, that wide. I mean, that thing got up pretty close to me. So I let it have Bessie. I gave it a taste of old Bessie for sure. I it gave both barrels in the chest. It, it kind of went back a little bit and then got down on its four, all fours. And then it was started coming at me. I thought, well, damn, I mean, how you kill this thing? So, but I said, ah, I'll bring it down. So I aimed it right between the eyes and I gave it again two barrels. I loaded old Bessie up and next thing you know, that thing went down. So I go where that thing was a hollering and carrying on something fierce. I ain't never heard such a racket in all my life. But I, I mean, I had to tell you now, it was starting to shake old Silas here, old Grandpa. That's right. But I, while it was down there, I wasn't about to let that thing, that thing get up again. Then we were kind of wiggling around and shaking and jerking and all that kind of stuff. But you know what? <laughs> I, I sat there and I took the old Bessie, put the barrels right up kind of close to its ears, and I gave both barrels in it. Boy, that, that killed it dead. And I got to looking and looking, and that, you know what? It was a shapeshifter, a werewolf. That's right. Well, how do I know what was a werewolf? Well, it was about 5, 10, 15 minutes. And that thing started changing. I'm, I'm swear, if I'm a lion, I'm a dying. You can sit there and you know, I may lightning strike me day. I can tell you right now, that was uh, something else. I mean, it, it turned into a fellow. A naked fellow. He was, that guy... If you had stood him up, you know, he would have been about like seven foot. He was a tall one. And I got to looking at his face a little bit, and I kind of recognized that guy. It was a, someone that was around in town that everyone would use, call Wolf Man Jack. That's right. What? What are y'all laughing at me for? What are you sneaking for? I'm telling you the truth. That was his name. Anyway, now, Wolfman Jack, now, I remember they had all kinds of tales about the feller. Yep, that's right. They had all kinds of tales about that guy. Now, that fellow... Now, he had uh, been hanging around this one shaman. He showed a interest in uh, things, you know, what they, they call the dark arts. I guess they still call it that. Anyway, he hang you know, around this shaman and got into all kinds of uh, hoogie boogie <laughs> stuff. And then, I'm, you know, you, they, you would see him running around, you know, had some wolves with him. And anyway, uh, but this, this fellow was really weird. And he, he had long, long, thick old sideburns and thick old mustache and beard, you know. Guy kind of made you think of a, a wolf or a bear, you know, as he, oh, excuse me, got a little gas. That's what happens when you're eating them beans. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway... Sometimes it comes out the front, sometimes it goes out the back door. Okay. Now, but that old wolf man Jack, people was always telling tales about that guy, you know, and some of them was even saying that he was a werewolf. And I sit there and say, Oh, y'all bunch of crazy idiots. Dang fools. Turn around, they weren't such a dang fool after all. Turn around, it was true. And I'm telling you the truth. Of course, I've heard them sit there talk about vampires. I, you know, I guess maybe I on that I figure well maybe it might be, might not be. I ain't gonna say one way or the other unless I see it for myself. 
Besides, I ever run across one of them, I got a old Bessie. <laughs> That's right. Now, they said that you can't kill a werewolf except only with silver. <laughs> well, I didn't have silver, but I sure had old Bessie. That's right. Bessie ain't never failed me. I always treated old Bessie right, you know. I believe it like this. That, you know, a man should treat his gun just like he does his wife. Treat him well and good. Because if you don't, they're going to turn around and hurt you. That's right. You just, yeah, you just go ahead and see what I mean. If you, yeah, maybe some of y'all are thinking about getting married. Some of you youngins. Well, the day you get married, you better start learning how to treat that woman right. That's right. Remember, it ain't a me thing, it's a we thing. That's right. Uh, you know, what they call have a, a team effort. That's right. Treat them good just like you do your gun. That's right. Better. You respect the gun, you respect that woman. That's right. You don't, you know what's going to happen. You're going to get hurt. That's right. So anyway, that that's my story. I can go say more. I just wanted to keep it kind of short this time. You know, and so I, I, I'll i tell you some other stories later on. You can, yeah, you youngins, yeah, be sure, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, be sure to grab, yeah, uh-huh. You can have some of that, yeah, the awesome possum gravy and the biscuits, yeah, you can take it home. Uh, you just be sure you bring it back, the, the bowls back, them, what Missy called Tupperware. You don't, you're going to get a taste of either Bessie or Missy, and then you, and I'm going to tell you, you would, if you had the choice between Bessie and Missy, you'd rather want Bessie because <laughs> Missy is scalping. <laughs> That's right. She, she know how to use that knife, and she will, too. She's a professional. <laughs> never mess with, never mess with an Apache. You get them riled up, and boy, you know what bitch you. And it ain't no dog, and it ain't no flea, but it, I'll tell you what, you'll be a flea in. You'll be running and jumping and everything else, screaming like a little girl. <laughs> Right. So, treat that woman with respect. Whoever you're gonna marry, and 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 I'll, and I'll tell you now, if you're gonna if you don't bring that Tupperware bowl back, you know when you're done next time you come, the old Missy gonna come after you, and you're gonna learn something then. <laughs> so, y'all be blessed and have a, a good night, and uh, y'all see you. Uh, Whenever, and yeah, mm-hmm. And so, hey, skinny, you can stay around here, boy. We got some more talking to do. That boy's got to be real good company. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, it's amazing what a good taste of these hands can do to a person, <laughs> and let alone to what M Bessie can teach you. <laughs> yep. I, I sit there and I learn from the best. That's right. So, I'll tell you some more story later on, you know. So, y'all take care. Be good. Be safe. And y'all come back now, you hear?